So today I was going to show you real quick how I use a, an app called Touch Portal to control my graphics. So in vMix, you can basically assign a shortcut to an input. So as you can see on my keyboard here, I actually have um, buttons that I can actually do an overlay with. Uh, I can do my matchup overlay, etc. Um, I have a score bug that I can pull up. That kind of thing. So, what I did is I created the shortcuts in vMix. I have a custom keyboard that I've put together. Um, I have one of these for every sport. But what I do is all the common um, shortcuts. So, for instance, the score bug, um, title overlays, that kind of thing, uh, the camera switching, uh, all those inputs are all the same. So, that is the same no matter what keyboard I'm using for whatever sport. So football, basketball, baseball, those keys are all the same. Um, I also have some custom keys here for score bugs, controlling the score, that kind of thing. But what happens in a game is things are moving so fast that sometimes reading these small keys is hard to do. Because I'm putting them in the same locations for every game, after a while you do remember where certain things are. But what I have found is in the middle of a game, it's kind of hard to read on the fly real quick what is on there. So what I ended up doing is I actually created a template on my, I have a small uh, tablet here, and I have a visual representation of the different graphics that I'm using for this sport. And what I can do from there is the same thing I can do from the keyboard I can do from here. So for example, there is a score overlay. I have a score bug I can pull up. So as you can see, without having to look and read the keys, I can actually just click on a visual representation and what you see on my tablet is what shows up on the screen. So how do I do that? Um, it's actually real easy in an application called touch portal you basically download it install it to your host computer whatever you're controlling and then you can actually install a client on a tablet on a cell phone on another computer and then through the Wi-Fi the tablet can control your host computer so on the screen right now you see a this is the visual representation on the setup screen um, if I go to my main screen you can see here so each one of these is a button that will take me to a page in the portal so if I clicked on uh, the tablet for the PS icon here it would take me to the Photoshop layout that I have for shortcuts I have After Effects as you can see I have some other sports here I have, and football is what we're talking about today uh, the example I'm giving you today so when I click on that icon, it's basically taking me to a page that looks like this. So how did I get these graphics in here? Um, basically, Touch Portal is a way to create a button. So for example, here is a button that was created in this grid. You can see it's a two by one button. If I change it to a one by two button, you can see what happens there. So in the grid, it's taking up two spaces left and right by one space high, and then all I'm doing is assigning this button to a keystroke. So in this case, it, um, I have it assigned to the backspace key. Now, how do I make these buttons work? So for example, let's just use this button here. You can see it's a three by one button. And then all I did was um, assign it to the key so whatever key you had set up in vmix so in this case f6 is the uh, shortcut key for this graphic and then all I did was basically use the transparent background which basically hides that button so you don't see the button and if I highlight it you there is a button there now what are we seeing on the screen yeah you're seeing all these graphics all I basically did was I went to Photoshop and I created a layout based on the template grid that I had created and then placed the graphics that should be in each of those buttons over the location. 
and then when I come back to touch portal I basically gonna hit change background I'm gonna import the background image and it looks like I'm actually pressing a button um, when I'm pushing on the image but it's actually just the background of touch portal and the buttons are overlaid are hidden so it makes it real easy on the fly so as you can see here on the fly I can basically just click on my tablet click on the tablet click on the tablet and you can see I can visually pull up a graphic based on the visual representation on a screen so hopefully that helps just giving you another tip on how to try to make your streaming life a little easier